I really liked the idea that, you know, these, these guys who basically had nothing could stand down and defeat uh, a massive, you know, totalitarian leviathan that had descended on them. When I saw Masood Khalili speaking at the Smithsonian in 1983, I remember thinking instantly, that's the kind of person I want to walk, work with. And so I, I had been watching it on C-SPAN. And while the show was still on, I left my house, went down to the Smithsonian. Those were the days before real security. Walked right past the security guards, walked up to the man and volunteered. When the Taliban came in five years before that and did away with the Mujahideen government, who actually made Afghans suffer, everybody welcomed Taliban. We're on the offensive now instead of the defensive. Get ready with the smoke, toss it over there. You and I will lead both elements and we'll get, we'll get them bring. Out of all these billion of dollars that, are, uh, that have been spent, or uh, so they say, uh, on uh, reconstruction of Afghanistan, only about 300 or 400 million dollars are spent on, 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 on agriculture. So when there is no jobs for 80% of people who know what to do and how to do things, then what, what do we expect? Of course, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And those are the, the, the sources for recruiting uh, or becoming Taliban, for recruitment for Taliban. The United States has seriously compromised its global position by focusing government attention, quite a lot of money, a lot of effort on places such as Ambar province in Iraq and Paktia province in Afghanistan. Nothing goes on there. There's no research, development, creation, innovation, production. Uh, what there is is a, uh, a lot of uh, women scratching the ground to grow things, uh, wearing covered up in robes, and their men loafing about. Uh, with a great deal of leisure, wearing sort of raggedy clothes and not doing much uh, except loafing and having religious rituals. Right now, we have 53% of our people, or probably more, unemployed. And every day, they are unhappy with the way they live, their families live. What do they do? If Taliban pay them more money, they're going to become Taliban. If the government will pay, pay them more money, they will come from, become you know, part of the government. And this is so obvious, but something that I don't understand is this, that how come such an obvious problem cannot be seen and uh, something done about it? I, I think if we clean it up, we'd be cleaning up uh, after the Taliban. No, we'd be cleaning up after the Russians. Then we'd be cleaning up after the Taliban. And are we going to be, you know, it, just remind, it reminds me after like a parade, the sanitation department comes up cleaning after the horses. Um, should we clean up? I don't know. <laughs>